Hi there everyone, I'm Iram this theme for all to new. Welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using the delicate bouquet stamp set on my card. To start, I'm using my stamp positioner today to stamp onto Crest Solar White cardstock. This is 80 pounds by the way. And the ink that I'm using is the permanent black ink, which is perfect for alcohol markers and also watercolors. The colors that I'm using today are crimson, peach perfect and frosty pink for the flowers. They are from different color families but work well together to form nice peach looking shade. I will tell you in a bit which color family they belong to. For now, let me show you how I will color the flower. I will start by adding the darkest color first which is crimson. Then peach perfect and then blend everything with frosty pink since this is a very flowy hand-drawn type of image we really need not be concerned with shadows or highlights very much there will still be some depth to the flower since we are using three shades a dark a medium and a light the darkest one i'm going to apply closer to the base of the petals then the peach perfect to give the petals their uh, peachy look and the frosty pink to blend everything if you don't want to add frosty pink you can add blush artist marker it is super light color and will go well with the peach perfect the crimson artist marker is from the red sunset color family and uh, the blush artist marker is also from the same family and that is why it will go well uh, with um, this uh, color set it also matches with the peach perfect so that is one of the reasons it will go well uh, with this uh, combination the peach perfect is uh, from the four scoops set and the frosty pink is from the red cosmos set i'm not going to be adding any flicks um, to the notches today i will just add color dark to light um, like glazing and if you do think that there is a lot of difference between crimson and peach perfect and that they do not blend well then use the tip to tip method by picking up color from the crimson artist marker with peach perfect artist marker you always pick up color from a dark marker with the help of a light marker and just try this you will be able to blend the crimson and peach perfect together for the leaves i'm using paper bag caramel toffee and warm sunshine artist markers from the summer afternoon set once i'm done i will use my scissors and fussy cut the image out for my card front i will first place my image and see where i want it then i will apply water in a line so that i don't forget it's a diagonal line by the way i'm sorry it's a bit off camera off and on um, for the peachy color i'm using tea party watercolor and to match it perfectly with the flower i will add a tiny amount of summer afternoon pigment to it for my browns i'm using fall harvest and delectable delights i will drop in color in a dripping manner and add tons of splatters of the same once i've added the peachy pink color i will add the brown just a bit of it and see it matches um, and it looks very pretty i will add a little color to the white outline so that it does not as dark only on the um, lower half of the image once dry i will add black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set then i will also apply some gold splatters i know there are a lot of splatters on here and uh, looks a little bit weird but the image will cover most of it i'll stamp the sentiment in obsidian ink and adhere the image with foam tape and my card is ready i did pop some of the gorgeous satin gold sequins later on uh, to make it more prettier and add that sparkle i hope you enjoyed today's coloring session thank you everyone for watching Bye.